Hey guys, it's Melody Lane and I am live. I'm so excited. I'm going to, you guys, I was guessing on when to do this because I had to wait for permission before I could do this. And so I want to show you design space and make sure, um, you guys tell me in the chat, make sure you can see everything. Okay. Do you guys see my design space and you can hear me? Okay. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, you guys, watch when I refresh my design space. Look, do you see anything new? So excited. You guys, I'm so, so excited. You might not see it yet. It's over here. Look, templates. It's the old canvas is back. Yay. Look. Now it's a little bit different than the old canvas, so I'm gonna show you how it works. And I did not have access to this until just now. So I never played with it before. Uh, Cricket just sent us a little email just about 20 minutes ago and told us a little bit about it. One thing that is different is you cannot save these with your projects. So they're over here under templates. They called it templates, which I think is a much better name than canvas because this is the canvas. Let me take this. Okay, and, okay, let's go back. The canvases are in the layers panel. Look down here in the layers panel, it says blank canvas. You can change the color of your entire canvas with, without, like picking a canvas you can and i know we've been asking for that people have been asking for that so i was so excited when i got that email today like we had no clue it was coming so quickly and i don't know if there's any other updates to design space this is the only one they told us about and i will have a link in the description of the video late after the video's not live anymore i can put a link to tell you more but let's go through the canvases and I'm, let me move these over so I can read your chat better. Okay, so let's look at them. Oh, I have a chair like this. I might need to put my name on a chair. And it says templates are intended, I couldn't read it all. Here, let's go here. Here's where it tells you more about it. Let me see what that says. Templates are intended for reference only and will not be saved with your project because this is really small for me to read and <laughs> I don't have glasses on. But look, isn't that cool? So notice that the squares change to be much smaller. It kind of zooms out, like zooms in and out, like where's the zoom? So it's only at 25% because it wanted to show you the whole thing. So this is the front of the chair and then the one next to it would be the back of the chair. And you can make it bigger if you want. See those squares? I have it set as one inch squares. So when it's this small, remember that's only an inch. And you can go over here, you can change the color. Yeah, you can change the color and that's the color of my chairs. No, you didn't notice it today because it happened only two minutes ago when I started this video. Like, I just kept refreshing while we were all chatting. We had 25 some people in here chatting before the video even started, even when I didn't know what time it was going to be. You guys are awesome. We were in here singing songs, actually. Well, I kept checking for the update. Um, let's check out some more templates. What do you guys want to see? Tell me in the chat. Oh, little dog clothes. Smartphones. Let's look at the smartphones. Uh, somebody is waiting to see it. Can someone tell them to refresh? Okay, so now here's the smartphones and I go up here and it says type. So I can choose Apple or Android. And then I can choose what phone? Oh, they don't have it updated yet. These are still the ones they had in the old canvas. I'm sure they will be updating these soon. 
to iPhone 7 and soon it'll be iPhone 8. So I'm just glad that they have these here and then they uh, can make updates to them as needed. Um, someone just asked, how do you get it? I just refreshed Design Space and it came up. So I know a lot of people are need t-shirts and stuff as a template to put um, stuff on a t-shirt. Remember, this is scaled down. Um, what should I write? I'm gonna write Go Bears because I grew up as a Chicago fan. So then you can like put it on there. And then when you go up to regular size, you can see what the size of this is and do everything as normal. And you can change the color. Let's make it an orange shirt. Let's make the writing blue. Thanks, Janice, for telling them to refresh. Do you guys have questions? Yep, it's there. If you guys go to Design Space right now, it's there. Let's go over this really fast and see if there's anything. So it's just telling me that it won't save. It's showing you how to pick the different phones. It has all these Samsung phones for Android. And then telling us about how to change the color. And then that's it. And it does give you a tip on here that because when you save the project, let's save it. this will not come back so like i'm gonna refresh it oh i'm just gonna go to new okay so now the project's gone i'm gonna go to projects i should have just went to my projects and now i go back here and the canvas is gone it's not they may be able to update that at another time but in order to get it out to us quicker they had to make it so it doesn't save it um it what was i gonna say oh they suggest to write some text to say what template you used or what size it was so you can let me check on sizes here let's look at this t-shirt okay um You can hide it down here in the layers panel just like you can with everyone. It's called template instead of canvas. It used to be called canvas, but they call the working area that we're on canvas, so they're calling this a template. Um, to be alerted to my videos, you have to click the bell. You have to be subscribed to my channel and click the bell. And if you have the YouTube app on your phone or iPad or tablet, it will come up as a notification if you have your YouTube settings to come up as a notification or you'll get an email. So for those of you who just came in, we got canvases back, but they're actually called templates. They used to be called canvases. But I don't see where we can change the size. Let me click here. Maybe it was in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, guys. Look over here. In the top right, you can click on all these different options. Parties and events. Okay, let's go to fashion. Okay, let's click a shirt. Oh, here it says the size, the type, a men's short sleeve or a women's short sleeve. And then it says the size right here. Do you see that in the top left? So you have the sizes here. 
Correct, Lynn. The shirt does not cut only what you put on the shirt. You only use it as a guide so you know what size to put your image, what size to make your image. So you just use this as a guide and it's not gonna be perfect. These sizes are not going to be exact. You just use it as a guide. To get the exact measurements you want, it's best to measure the shirt. And if it's for a shirt for yourself, you might want to try it on first and measure exactly where you want to put it and what size you think it should be. That's really the best thing to do. Ha, <laughs> Joan thinks she says you know how to throw a surprise party. Um, Kim is asking, make it doesn't work from here. It should. I can click make it. And then it will cut out my Go Bears. But it does not cut the t-shirt. Oh, Angelina, thank you so much for the super chat. Um... You don't have to, okay, let me cancel this. You don't have to have anything selected. You can hide this once you have it out there. Let me see, let me click templates again. I don't think there will be another Cricut machine anytime soon. Janice, thank you. Here's a wine glass, something a lot of you do. There is no limit to the amount of projects you can save. I have hundreds and hundreds saved. So here, Oh, see, when I clicked on it, this went away up here. Did you guys see that? Let me go back. Okay, so I'm clicking on the wine glass. Now up here at the top, I can choose what type of glass. If I want champagne. And then I can click standard or custom. Custom means I can make it any size I want. You can't drag it though. See, and when I click on it, the sizing goes away. So then I have to go back to it. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that will change. I kind of don't like that part of it. Let's do custom. So if you're not done selecting it, do not click on it. Okay, so I missed some of your questions. Yes, the Cricut Maker does have the regular blade all the other machines have. And usually when I'm going to go live, I usually share it ahead of time. I didn't share this one at all. So you guys are all here just because you found me or um, were notified.
Yeah, it is a great birthday present for Ken. If you guys didn't know, it's Ken Hess's birthday. I made a video for him. I think he's going to upload it to his YouTube channel too. I gave it to him to upload. Oh, click on the template in the bottom corner to get the sizing back. Oh, look at that. You guys are helping me out. So to get the sizing back, you can click down here. See, I have not even gotten to play with this. You guys are seeing me play with this live for the first time ever. So to get the sizing back, click, click on it down here. I should have even thought of that myself. Look, we can have a pink glass. Oh, there's not really any way to add stitching unless you make a whole bunch of little score lines and make them cut. Thank you, Lynn. So if you want the sizing to come back, click on it in the, because when I click here, it goes away. Then click on it. You cannot use my name as a discount code for the bright pad. You can use the code fall ship. The bell is should be right next to the subscribe button. You have to find the subscribe button. The new these this template is not available on the iPad or Android at this time. So it does not work on the mobile apps, only on the computer-based design space. I think I am ready for the hurricane. Well, not quite. I have to bring my chairs in that are out front and maybe some other things. My welcome rug. I think I have to bring that inside. But I'm not going to feel anything for the hurricane until like Sunday. I don't know if there will be an update for iOS. I imagine someday. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go for now. I'm going to let you go because it seems like my stream is not the best. It's telling me it's bad and then goes back to good and stuff. I'm not having the best internet today. I have water and I have lots of things to drink and I have food and I'll be going to the store again. The templates are over here right above projects underneath new on the left side of design space. And if you watch this video from the beginning, once I stop it, you can watch it from the beginning and see everything that I've already showed you. How do you resize? You can click over on it at the bottom of the layers panel. Down here at the bottom of the layers panel, you can click on it, and then the sizing is up here at the top left. You can choose which glass, and you can choose custom for sizing or standard. And there's lots of different kinds of templates. So you can change the size of all of these. I have plenty of batteries. And I want to thank you guys for all the prayers that you guys have given me to stay safe during the hurricane. Thank you, everybody. Sandy, I probably will do that sometime soon.
All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Go check out Design Space and have a little fun. Design something. Use your new Easy Press and iron something onto something. All right, guys, love you. See you in the next video. Bye.